Cut it a little bit big. I'll put it on there. And uh, once it's on the engine, we'll trim it to size. One wrist pin. Looks really good. About the best one I've. Oh, that's a very good wrist pin. You know, only one or two thousandths of wire, I would venture to say. It was tight in the thing here. But. You know, you can't get them wrong. It only goes one way. I have taken some edges apart that somebody did get it wrong. But <clears throat> hole in top of the piston right there and a hole in top of the rod right there. Goes all the way through. Some of them don't. Some of them goes down there and then it got two holes over here and it goes around and does that. But that one's got four holes inside yonder. So there's a groove in that bushing Yeah. And when you put it in there, you just put that hole to the top and shove it up in there. And when that oil drips down through that drip oiler, it goes down through there and gets in that little trough right there. And it gets on there and then back here it gets just slung everywhere inside that engine. But we'll clean these parts up and put that right back together. That's been in that electrolysis tank down there. Now we'll get the water brushed on that. Somebody's going to ask me about that file right there. That's a JK. Made in uh, India, I believe is where that's at. Made in India. It's a JK. Sunflare. It's a bastard file. But it's, it's, it, I think the handle cost more than a file did. That's one of them screw-ons. But, uh, not to get distracted on, on what I was doing. Uh, to the point of filing. See, see, there's a file mark in there, but it's very faint. You couldn't see it if you was looking up inside the engine. So, see, that file's got some teeth on the side of it right there, both sides. And, and so, it, it, it'll, it'll cut a V thing. Look, uh, crossways. You know what I mean? They ain't, they ain't no mistake in that. But you want them matching. You, you, you want the same thing if you're on this one.
Okay. That's the way you that's the way you notch your rod caps. And the other side is plain. And and they they do have casting lines on. They were they were casted as one piece. But then with all the machining and everything was the reason for the marking them. So we're good to go there. We'll get some paint on them. Time to run paint. And we'll get this engine running. A circus wagon engine. Let's get on with this project. From here, in Middle Tennessee, shop dog Sam. <laughs> 